What's going on Ray fans, it's me again Muddles, thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be playing some more Ray Shadow Legends, and I thought today I would try and help you lot with a dungeon, if possible. It's actually one I struggle with a bit, because I haven't got the right champions for it yet. But the Spirit Keep, so I'm going to go in at stage 14, because stage 15 I find myself get caught in a bit of a circle, because I don't have any heal reduction in my team, and no strong turn meter control. Um, I'm going to go in with the team first, and I'll show you how I got them built after. So I've just gone for all blues. All right, I'm going against the greens, so I'm going to be strong against them. So I always forget if they're spirit or force or... Actually, no, I forget what the colours mean. Um, but let's have a look. Let's see what we can get. That's what I'm doing. As you can see, like the crap, the uh, waves aren't too bad to get through. The main issue you get is with the uh, with the boss on this level because... She heals. Oh, sorry, guys. She heals by 50% at the start of each turn. And if you haven't got a heal reduction buff on her, it's a pain. You've got to just outspeed her and hope you've got enough turn meter control to actually do it with her. Whether that's either slowing down her speed or dropping her turn meter. I think I've got enough in Tyrell to drop her turn meter if I get a chance. Um, it's also bad enough that she has the block debuffs on as well. Sometimes you've got to wait for that to drop. And then you can really hit her hard. You should get the de decreased defense down. I'm not really too bothered about the decreased attack because she doesn't hit that hard. And it's hard. We can't put any debuffs on her. You can't poison her up or anything because she's got the block debuffs on. And I don't have anyone in this team to actually remove the debuff. I suppose if I packed Madame, Madame Cerise, I probably could have done it. Madame Cerise? 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 Maybe. I'm not sure. Let me know. <laughs> As you can see, look. As soon as you take her down, she picks it up. So hopefully, now debuff's down. Let's see if we can get some damage on her. Come on. Come on, guys. Right, there goes a turn meter down. Can we get any debuffs on her to drop that? Drop her down a bit quicker. Any weaken? Got a weaken on her to start getting a bit more damage. Come on. The problem is, sometimes you can get caught in like a loop with this. and Because she just keeps healing up and she can't kill you. So it becomes really annoying. All right, decrease defense down. These hits are going to be a lot stronger now. Come on, let's take her out. Let's take her out. What we'll be on? Two minutes. See if we can get under two ten. There we go. All right, so we got her. And that was just a pure force run. I mean, that wasn't great planning. I mean, if you've got a cold heart or a saurus or something like that, I highly recommend using them. But none of them are particularly built that well for that dungeon. I mean, Tyrell was built in life still because I used them for my clan boss. Uh, Miscrit is all just accuracy and speed because I wanted to land his debuffs and that's not a place to do it really. Um, who else was I using? Um, my Gaelic's built for the arena, same as my Aethel. Um, and my Apothecary's just built really fast. So all you really have to worry about in that dungeon is stripping the debuff off her. If you've got someone who take her debuffs off, that is fantastic. I mean... There are plenty of them out there. Um, and all you want is quick and a bit of turn meter control. And then someone who can just hit her hard. I mean, there are some champions who can remove... Well, sorry, you want to remove the buffs, don't you? And you want to remove her buffs just so you can hit her a bit harder. And there's a few that can do it. I mean, you've got, you've got Banshee, you've got Grinner, you've got... Hospital order, skirmisher. I mean, Della will move the buffs from them. If you want to go someone else, you've got Organ Jailer or Totem. Not really people you want to level up too much. Maybe Chopper. I'm talking about all rares, really. I mean, going in Epics, you've got Gorgorab if you manage to get him. I mean, I suppose even Shaman will do it. Everyone gets Shaman. She's a good one to use. I just didn't like using her too much. But that's what I feel. I mean, you guys can definitely use them all. And I think you can just get the. You want to you want to be farming the higher level dungeons for that because you want to get the better potions. Anyway, I hope that helps, guys. That's my video, my review of that dungeon. Hope it helps. Please subscribe, please like, and I'll talk to you again soon. Cheers, bye.